Bar Mills, welcome to the homepage for TJ Riley's in HO Scale. Now, for those of you who have the kit or just would like to know what's in the kit, we've done this short video for you to give you an idea of what you can expect and what you're going to have to deal with when the time comes. This is how the kit comes in a standard Bar Mills box. It's a pretty hefty one this time around because there's a lot in this particular kit. Now, remember, this kit is only available through Bar Mills Direct. Uh, and as a result, you get some extra things in this kit that we would not be able to afford to give you if it had to go through regular distribution channels. Uh, when you open up the box, the first thing you'll see is something that you rarely see except in Bar Mills kits, and that's a full set of Woodland Scenic figures. These things go for from $15 to $20 depending upon the set, but these actually come to help you detail your scene when you build a kit. Also, some extra details that come with this kit would be sidewalks. Uh, these are our resin cast sidewalks that will help you not only make the building, but also give you building uh, an attractive placement so you can help it, it tell the story, which is really the whole idea of the hobby. Uh, as you go through the kit, uh, you'll find several sheets of laser cut, what we call tar paper roofing. And of course, this is self-adhesive. There are several in here, as you can see, and this will be used exclusively on the roof of the kit. And then we get to the meat of the kit. Now, if you notice, everything is in its own package, and there's a lot in a package like this. This package contains anything from laser board, uh, laser cut windows and doors, uh, to uh, clapboard for the walls of the kit, as well as cardstock to make the, uh, the, uh, the roofing of the kit. This package itself has a wealth of, uh, of materials inside of it, and of course, everything is referenced in the uh, instructional manual that comes with the kit. Also, we stay with that same attitude about keeping everything sealed so you don't tend to lose anything. And here, this is what you call uh, our, our stick kit. And there are a lot of sticks in here. There are ladder rungs, there are corner posts, there is a water tower wrap. There's even a piece of insta fence here again to help make the scene something special. And this is all sealed so you don't lose these things. So you wanna make sure they stay together until you need them. As we keep going, yet more, this is nothing but resin castings. Now, in this case, the TJ Riley has very exclusive, one-of-a-kind resin castings that were designed simply for this kit. You've never seen them before. They've never existed before. And this is a package of those, and they're incredibly well-detailed. You're going to be impressed, trust me. Next, we have some white metal castings. You know, you always need junk, whether it's a hand card or a pile of boxes, whatever it is. Something else yet to uh, accentuate the scene and bring it to life. And yet again, another package. This time, it's some telephone poles with transformers. So when you're building your scene, you can stick a couple of these out in front of the building to help give it that lived-in look. The last thing of all in the box, and I gotta kinda dig into this. This is something like 29 pages long, I believe. This is the instructional manual for the HO scale TJ Riley's. Uh, remember, always, always check on the color photos that we've included, as well as all of the diagrams that are included with the kit. Uh, it's not unusual for us to include what we call full-size, let me call those up, elevations, where you can actually get a good idea of exactly what you're dealing with. At any rate, this is just a short video showing what you do get with the kit, and hopefully explaining a little bit about what lies on the road in front of you with this. Thanks a lot from Bar Mills, Artie Behe. Thank you.